Growing up, Ryan Kendall had a secret, a secret he'd shared in the pages of his diary. But when Ryan was just 13, his mother read his diary and discovered Ryan was gay. It was the beginning of the most painful years of his life. I didn't question the world I had grown up in. I thought there was some legitimacy to this idea that I was an evil sinner who was going to burn in hell. And for years, I thought that God hated me because I was gay. Ryan says his parents were determined to change their son. As Ryan tells it, his parents signed him up for what's called reparative therapy with the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, otherwise known as NARTH. Every day I would hear, this is a choice. This can be fixed. And, and did I, you believe that? I never believed that. I know I'm gay just like I know I'm short and I'm half Hispanic. And I've never thought that those facts would change. It's part of my core fundamental identity. So the parallel would be sending me to tall camp and saying, if you try really hard, one day you can be six foot one. What they did hurt me. It tore apart my family. It led me to periods of homelessness, to drug abuse, to spending a decade of my life wanting to kill myself. It led to so much pain and struggle, and I want them to know that what they do hurts people, it hurts children, it has no basis in fact, and they need to stop. What happened to me is not something that goes away. I don't get that decade of my life back. I don't get those opportunities back. And I don't get my family back. And I will live with the damage that these individuals did for the rest of my life.